first quarterfinal of the day. Who will make it to the semis? I don't know. Let's find out. And starting off, giving an open look to Japan is not the best strategy. Japan will count on its speed and shooting ability. And France will count on its power down low and their one-on-one -on -one speed and greatness. And Japan gets position back. So the matchup is pretty simple. Two different philosophies, two different styles. And the speed right there, you can see it yet again. You are Mura. Kami Droge hands it off. Oh, 16. You gotta, you gotta finish down there. 16 Make. Kono gets it off right on time. And the fast break. They're going to need 16 Make and Camille Droguet to come up big. The connection with the two ladies, always efficient. But the speed. Did Colin Franchelin meet her match? Might appear so. Yuai Mura. Ooh, 16 McKay. Big bucket. Kuyama using speed and getting blocked from behind, but there is a hit on the head. And they're called for the foul. Yama knocks it down. Anjok can't finish. Franchelin. Oh, yes. The ball teasing, but still pleasing. Going in. Five apiece. Got a nice game, and that's called the trouble. Karin Mori. Manjok hesitated. She made the defense jump and she misses. Great defense, Japan keeping France on their toes and on their heels. Take to the middle. Whatever great defense Japan gave France, France gave it right back to Japan. Both teams extremely competitive. And let's not forget, that Japan's only loss was against a juggernaut, Team USA. And the game was extremely competitive. Team USA pulled away in the end. Under the leadership of Lexi Huell and Emilia Angsler. But Japan, clear candidate for a medal. And the road to the medal led them to meet up with France in the quarters. That could have been a semi-final matchup right there. And then Jock elevates off the mark. A little pull up mid-range, but she's still a little bit short. Great box out by Norika Kono. 
And the great hands. Don't get fooled by her size. 16 McKay, very mobile. All the little hand in action. She spoon fed 16 McKay. Camille Droguet and Anand Jock still off. But she's going to keep shooting. And she needs to. France needs her to be aggressive. Colin Franchelin gives it Camille Droguet the attack of the catch. Very nice. France up two. And France bringing up the pressure. Colin Franchelin throwing the offensive foul. Backdoor cut, well found, but the gap a bit too tight. Camille Droguet. Oh, Kobe, Kobe. Norika Kono with the sweet fadeaway. Those Japanese ladies are skilled, and so are the French ladies. Great energy, the ball. Given back to Japan, 16 Maquet is the last one to put her fingers on the ball. So 7-6, as you have identified, France counts on the great off-ball activity of Camille Droguet and the size and power in the paint of 16 Maquet. Japan is counting on the teamwork, the collaborations, the speed and the outside shooting, but France has been preventing them from finding any open look so far. So Japan is condemned to find what just happened with Yuai Mura, which is finishing close to the basket using speed. And she keeps shooting, and she finally makes one. Ananjok, big bucket, 9-7. Deny defense, Camille Droguet. Look at the screen, Kono. Gives it back to Imori. And the block, Ananjok. Attacks. Great pass. Oh. Franchelin putting too much. Oh, the spin move. Kono, very nice. Yuaimura. Trying to shift. But Camille Droguet, great contest. She did not go anywhere. She did not bite anything. But Japan with the offensive board. And Camille Droguet denies every passing lane. So did Franchelin, but she missed it. And the great help side defense and the jock made Kono switch position in the air. Franchelin sees daylight. Oh, yes. Nothing but net 11-7. Great take. Karina Mori could have finished with the left, but she went back to the right, drew the foul on Camille Droguet. Kani Mori makes it. And a jog, the drive. To the left, to the left. 12 8. Oh, the bad pass. Rizika Okuyama misjudged the distance. The great defensive pressure on the transition defense. Hand off action at the elbow and Camille Droguet finishing under the bucket. France now taking control of this game. And everything started with the great defense, and I was about to say it, and they did it again. Anand Jok. 
That's what you call a fast break in 3x3. You turn defense into an instant offense. That's a sweet finish. On the other side, using the rim as protection, long range, and duck. And the foul on the shot. Great sportsmanship, and Anjok helping Imori up. No contesting the foul call. And Ananjok providing the long range killing. She's sniping it up. Yep. And the defense, you see, what I appreciate on that play is not only does France cut passing lanes, pressure the ball, but as you saw right there with that steal from Ananjok is her automatic response, which was to spin back around and identify whether there was an open teammate closer to the basket, the fast break, instant. And France, with a commanding seven points lead right now, under four minutes to go, well on its way to punch its ticket to the semis. But do not underestimate this Japan team Japan can bring the fire and they will keep competing and fighting. Okuyama doing a really good job, but there's something you cannot teach. It's 6'5", height. And 6'5 in women's basketball will get you vision over anybody, but the long range, Okuyama. Didn't I tell you a second ago, they can bring the fire. So France has to be careful. If they lose focus, Japan will have opportunities to shoot it from afar and try to close this thing up as quick as they can. But France, five points. Four points away. Qualifying the great cut from Colin Franchelin. Fake the handoff, went back the other way. Catch and shoot. 16 Maquet. She has to be more assertive on the transition pass. This is an offensive foul. But you know why there is an offensive foul? It's not really Camille Droguet's fault on this one. Anand Jok was a little bit impatient, so she left too early, did not give the opportunity to her, to her teammate, Camille Droguet, to set her feet properly. The defense, great hustle. Colin Franchelin, and she's feeling that one. I heard the hit. I can tell you, that was tight. Oh. Right in the rib cage. Ugh. Let's just hope that it's a, a situation where she got the air taken out and it's not the rib cage that suffers something. And trust me, I've had broken ribs. Not on this specific situation, it was more like on a, a blind screen being set as I was playing defense. And I was hustling, trying to stay with the ball. Got hit right in the angle. Three broken ribs, and that was the end of that. Well, seeing her body language, I think that she, she pretty much got the air taken out of her. And that there are no, no broken ribs or anything, maybe a bruise, but happy to see nothing major. And then Jock, the switch of pace, very nice. 
Quick hesitation, making Japan thinking she was looking at the, the roll. 15 foul against 16, Make. But it's looking very improbable that Japan is going to pull this one off. Kuyama. Great defense, 16, Make. The switch. Look at this, the contest. Bermuda managed to get the oh the crossover, but great recovery though. And Jock, look at this. When France plays defense like that, it's very tough to hope for anything. Easy money, two lady connection, ready for some action. 2012. France about to finish this thing. And they're gonna let Mori go to the bucket. No need to foul. Camille Droguet, offensive, easy call. Great defense, Rilika Okuyama, anticipated. Yep. And Colin Franchelin is back. Welcome back. Turnover. And Colin Franchelin using the speed. Beep, beep. <laughs> there you go, ladies. Where to celebrate. Great job. Beautiful win, France. I told you. One of the three clear favorites of this competition. The Japanese ladies have nothing to reproach themselves of. They played a great tournament. And they just had Team USA in the group and France in the corners. The road was just too tough to go for a medal. France feeling really good and they understand this is a big win because Japan is one of the most dangerous teams to play against. <laughs> 